Well, you know, I think, uh, you know, we were, uh, you know, moving in a different direction. An opportunity to get a player like Brooks uh, came along. Uh, discussion, uh, Jeff Beecher and his staff, uh, you know, myself, been talking about different guys. How can we get our team better? How can we keep moving and getting uh, the right players, fitting what we want to try and accomplish? And, uh, we, you know, Hassan was a, a young player that was developing, coming along and uh, unfortunate, but that's how the NBA and the business goes. You know, wish him well, and, uh, and he'll be back in the NBA. He'll get a shot because he has a unique skill, and now we just get an opportunity to have adequate playing time. But uh, everything that's taking place today for our team is trying to build it the right way um, and also get quality players. And so there's a big plus for us today. I pose this question to Jeff, mm -hmm. but you're the coach, and you obviously distribute the playing time right. here. But is Aaron coming in to compete for the starting point guard spot, or is he, is he coming in as a backup? Or? Well, what I shared with him was, I said, you know, I'm trying to develop a team to where we can have uh, multiple players play. You know, I want to have a team that can play and win. Now, obviously, I know I've been around the NBA long enough to know that uh, guys want to be locked into when they're going to play, how they're going to play. But uh, he had a decision to make. He had a decision to make based on what I shared with him, uh, that he can go another direction. Obviously, he felt that uh, what I said to him, uh, was fair, and, I, and exactly what I told you is what I told him. Uh, the way I'm trying to conform this team and shape this team is that we can have uh, 10 to 12 players trying to play on the basketball floor. Because the bottom line is that we just want to focus on how can we win games. And um, obviously he, he felt that was the right thing uh, for him, and it worked out for us. What excites you, what excites you more, but most about adding that experience at the point guard with, with Aaron Brooks? Well, you know, he, he's been there. I think uh, anytime you look at it, we got some young developing point guards. Uh, you got a guy who's already played there, who already has played with some superstars. So you get a guy who can pass on that experience that's only going to help our overall team. And uh, that's what we want. We wanted to get a little bit uh, older at different positions on the floor. And I think having the right guys with the right attitude that can really help us in that direction, but also not just someone coming in can just be a mentor uh, but somebody can also be a mentor, but also can play. And we want to look at things in that aspect. His quickness is something that everyone knows about. Where does that rank in your mind among guards in the league? Well, when he was coming out, we, that's the one thing that jumps out at you. You know, he was very, very electric with the basketball. Then, of course, he developed the NBA range uh, sh shooting ability, uh, managing the basketball team. So he's a, he's a pro player. He's a, a proven NBA player already. And that's only going to help our team uh, with the experience. Uh, keeping the tempo with he and Isaiah and, uh, you know, and Jimmer when he gets an opportunity to keep learning and growing. Uh, but everything that we're trying to do is get us moving in a direction because as we all left that, that season last year, we want to be in a position where we're going to start playing for a position. And it starts with how you start formulating your team uh, in the offseason. I know competition can be healthy in that position. Mm -hmm. What does this do for that position in your mind going forward? Well, I just look at the numbers. You know, I didn't see one number that said we had over 35 wins. We didn't have 40 wins. So we got to focus on trying to build this team and get it to the point where uh, we're going to have a good winning record and have a chance to be a, a playoff contending team and eventually become a playoff team. So rather than stay the status quo, I think uh, Jeff uh, and myself, we want to change the envelope, push the envelope. And uh, you, can't, you can't go wrong with having some good players on your basketball team. And good competition is always good. Iron sharpens iron. So that's the focus that we want to take on. It seems like it happened all at once. I mean, it's kind of <laughs> funny how that works out. Well, I, I think, you know, the, the groundwork was, was, was moving in a certain direction. But uh, everything in the conversations and, uh, you know, you got to dot the I's and cross the T's and, and get everyone on the same page. And eventually everything just so happens to, to accumulate at the, the same particular time. But I think uh, all the work that was laid out first, how do we plan this situation, looking to better our basketball team, and eventually it all happened. Everyone says yes to it, and it all fell in place for us. How about a thought on James real quick? I mean, a lot of guys may not know too, many, yeah. too much about him. Well, you got a player that uh, obviously, um, you know, is, is coming into a team that's, that's developing, that's moving in a, a direction. Uh, he plays a position of small forward. You know, I can play some forward because of his size, but small forward is primarily where you want to look at him at. Uh, young guy that can keep developing with our basketball team, very athletic, but also uh, selling the idea that this guy can be a guy for us that can be a defensive player. You know, I really need that guy and want that guy to have a, uh, uh, that ability that want to have a desire to play defense, and he can be one of those guys on our team. He handles the ball. He's a skilled player. Um, so with all of that, I love the fact that we get a, a player like him um, that we didn't have to give up anything to get him and then see how we could grow him into our team. Decision with to let go of Whiteside and part with Whiteside was that 
Was that partly just because he may not he may not have wanted to fit into the role you had envisioned with him, or was it a work ethic thing? No, 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 no. This young man did everything we asked him to do. He came in, uh, you know, the thing he got hurt this all, right before the season ended. Uh, he came back, he uh, did his rehab, getting his ankles together, uh, worked every day uh, after he was able to get on the floor and start running, did everything we wanted him to do. He was training, developing, coming along. But, you know, at some point we got to start moving along. And uh, But the young man had, it was nothing that he did. It was just that this team was uh, moving in a position and had an opportunity to start putting some pieces together. And, uh, and unfortunately, but that's how, how the business goes.